you want to think back of the distance you've travelled here, every 600 metres a shot was fired which killed an Australian troop. It makes us Australian, it makes, it, it makes us unique. How we remember our soldiers, I think it's special being Australian like that. The Kokoda Track is one of the most important chapters in Australian history. The track stands for everything that is the fighting spirit of the Aussie digger. Courage, endurance, mateship, sacrifice. And whether you're looking for adventure, <laughs> stories, fascinating culture, or the challenge of a lifetime, you'll find it all on Kokoda. This for me has been a physical, mental, emotional and spiritual challenge, you know, that's, that's kind of my goal. Because I'm going to look back on that in the business world, in the family world, and life throws challenges all the time. And so I just wanted to keep on doing that. You know, I just wanted to get up there without stopping and it was hard work, but we did it. <laughs> all the guys have trained really hard for this and it's been a build up for the last eight months, so... It's, uh, you know, it just gives you a just a small touch of what the diggers must have gone through years ago. Jeez, it's hard work. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I've heard different things in terms of the walk. Someone's told me it's the third hardest walk in terms of challenging yourselves. That was it for me. It was experiencing the difference between walking through the danger and walking through a jungle. Um, this is a jungle. woke up at dawn just to see this extraordinary, extraordinary memorial. And there's just something about the energy about the place. It, it just gets at you. We will remember that. Zach went through some of the names of family members that were there and of course my grandfather's was there and um, you know, it's, it's um, hard to keep it all together. done a great job with uh, you know getting all our tents set up and dismantled and everything else day in day out it's been great so it's been nice coming into camp knowing that the tents have been up and it's just a matter of rolling in and getting a sleeping bag sorted and mattress sorted so I thought we were going to get crap packet food but I tell you it's been absolutely awesome I mean the boys the boys done a fabulous job I mean they, they give you the exact amount of history that you need to make it interesting and also let you be yourself and they're doing the walk with us and then they come back and then they're cooking and, and uh, you know they, it's not like they've got a microwave or anything like that and the, the food's extraordinary the whole time. Basically Duncan's limits were 8 to 12 people which sort of suited us. I, I didn't want to go on a big group by the time you put the actual trekkers plus their quarters plus guides plus God knows whatever else they bring along there'd be no room on the track for anyone else. So the thought of having only 10 people was appealing, so size is perfect. I think the whole, that's the essence of the whole trip. It's basically going away with 10 good blokes, 11 good blokes, they've all formed a friendship that'll last forever. <laughs> <laughs>